All right, guys. Finally had a sunny day to go climb. Of course, it rained past like three days, so things were a bit wet, especially the top of the boulders. But I decided to go ahead and kind of mess around with and project some new stuff here. This is probably the tallest boulder in this little area by the lake. Uh, maybe about 15, 16 feet, something like that. And yeah, I think I've got some pretty good, probably V3 or so problems here. Um, this one I especially liked. And honestly, I probably could have flashed it if it weren't for the muddy top of the boulder. Uh, just being impossible to kind of like get a grip on. I mean, look how easy. I like statically grab the top, but it was just slick and muddy and I didn't really trust to put both hands on that and decided to just take a fall. But uh, definitely going to come back when it's dry and mess with these, they're pretty cool. But yeah, I am I'm sore as hell at that. You know, what I do Friday, I freaking did a bunch of front lever rows and skin the cats, and then at night, this video was blocked in some countries, one might have been the US, I really don't know, I tried to look it up, but it wouldn't tell me specifically which countries this video got blocked in, but I went back that night and did like three sets of five L-sit shit-ups into a face pull, you know what I mean, as well as climb the house and try to like project some <laughs> little boulder problems on the bricks and you know doing some dinos and stuff. Um, so that was like pretty sore from that and then dude my legs have been sore the entire time after that freaking leg workout I did on Thanksgiving. Like I did freaking did a lot of ankle exercises, and those actually didn't make me sore. But what really got me was the pistol squats. And also did uh, some like single leg, kind of like a single leg deadlift kind of movement, but really more of like a hip hinge, because I'm not actually deadlifting anything, which is my body. But I did. Uh, two sets of 20 on each side, just like, you know, hinging from the hips and lifting that one leg behind me while balancing on, you know, that one foot. Doing that slow and controlled for 20 reps times two. Freaking demolished my glutes and hamstrings. Like, that combined with the pistol squats, my glutes and hamstrings are destroyed. Like, abysmally sore. Me mega, mega delayed onset muscle soreness. Like, the day after, little sore. The second day, abysmally sore. Today, still abysmally sore. <laughs> so, man, I don't know if doing, doing like the eccentric work for the hamstrings is really worth it for me right now, because it's like climbing season. I don't feel like getting that sore, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe after the season's over, I'll do more of the eccentric focused exercises, but good God, man, I'm like so uncomfortably sore, especially yesterday. I was like dying. I could barely bend over. <laughs> that muscle damage, man. From the slow eccentrics, you know what I mean? Like stretching under load, under effort. Good lord. But uh, I'm probably not going to do those again. But I was enjoying the assisted pistol squat. So I was like in between my door, my door frame one of the door frames in my house, and I was like hanging on to it like this, you know, with my fingertips. And that was cool because I was able to kind of like pull a little bit as I was doing a pistol squat. And I was able to kind of lean into my posterior chain more, so I felt it hella crazy in my glutes, you know what I mean? And like, I feel like just hanging on to something was able to keep my posture, like my thoracic spine, active the entire time, you know what I mean? 
Whereas when I do one freestanding, I don't have enough, like, uh, you know, I've got those long ass femurs, and I don't have nearly enough, like, ankle flexion, uh, mobility, whatever you want to say, to not have, like, my spine round like crazy at the bottom. So, it just feels awkward as shit. You know, even though I was able to do sets of 10 and 12, uh, freestanding pistol squats, I liked those a lot more because I feel like I was in more of a, um, ergonomic position, you know what I mean? Like, my spine was straight. I could feel my thoracic spine working, I could feel that I could drive my heel into the ground a lot better and therefore get that crazy glute activation. I don't think I felt my glutes that hard in, like, years. You know what I mean? Like, it was, it was like all glutes, dude. And that is super important, guys, for, for hip health. If you have a strong, strong ass, <laughs> you know what I mean? You have a better chance of uh, having powerful hips and having less back pain. You know what I mean? So I think that exercise I'm going to keep doing. And all the ankle stuff I'll keep do. But as far as like the stretchy hamstring shit, that, that's just freaking destroyed me. I'm, I'm not doing that until the climbing season's over because it's fucking up my flow <laughs> to be to be that sore. Um, and I feel like the soreness in the hamstrings, like when they get kind of cramped and tight, they just kind of pull on everything. So like my everything from like my freaking head into like my back into like my calves, so like the whole the whole posterior chain just feels like it's sucked into my freaking belly of my hamstring muscles. And it just tugs on my back and now I got like back pain. You know what I mean? Just annoying as shit. It's not worth it. Not now anyway. Maybe later I'll get back to it. Um but Jesus Christ man, but that's it's uncomfortable soreness, man. It's not worth it. Uh I was pretty happy that I could do um, 12 reps of freestanding pistol squats because I haven't done probably more than, I don't know, two pistol squats in like three or four years. Like if you look back on my freaking YouTube channel, I have no freaking videos of me doing pistol squats more than like one or two reps. Um, and I've been posting this channel for several years, you know, on and off. I think the last time I did anywhere near that many pistol squats was probably before my back and hip injury, which was like freaking five or six years ago. So it's awesome that my legs are that strong again. Um, but that being said, I don't think the freestanding pistol squats are, are worth doing for me right now because I can't get into that like pristine <laughs> that freaking pristine form you know what I mean if you look at like a gymnast do a pistol squat their ankles are so strong and flexible their knee is able to track way beyond their toes and therefore when they go all the way down like ass to grass you know what I mean like butt to heel their back is still straight you know but when most people do including me you go all the way down, like, you know, butt to heel, your back is like this. And then you have to go up like this, and it's just like, feels a little fucky on the back, and honestly, I feel like I was using more of my uh, core muscles than I was, like, my hips and legs. I felt the assisted pistol squats a hell of a lot more in my legs than the freestanding ones, so. I keep doing those, and, uh, I'm hoping in a few days I'm not going to be so fucking sore because I want to hit up the inch dumbbell again. I, it's about time to hit that up again. I don't think I'll be able to do it tomorrow. Hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday I'll be not sore as fuck and very <laughs> feeling like good and mobile and recovered. And I'll just uh, blast those real quick and hopefully... I don't know, I feel like my newbie gains are slowing down on that because I think I went from making around 30 to 40 pounds of progress per week. 
As I'm saying this, it sounds freaking ridiculous. That's like huge progress. You know, most people most, most people are happy to make like five pounds of progress in a week on a lift. You know what I mean? Here I'm making like 30 pounds and complaining. But uh, last week I only made about 20, 20 ish pounds of progress. Um, so with that in mind, I doubt I'm going to break into 200, but I'm going to try to break into the 200 pound on that H trainer. That'd be pretty sick. I think maybe my right hand will be able to do it, thumbless, thumbless grip. Um, but I'm fairly confident that my left hand of the thumbless grip will be able to lift, uh, the equivalent or a little more of the Thomas Inch dumbbell, so that's 172 pounds. I think I hit 162 pounds last week, so that'd only be a 10 pound jump. I think that's pretty dual for my left thumbless grip. And also, I was super close to getting, uh, with the thumb grip, like the kind of pinch grip, I hit 97 pounds with my right, and I think 92 with my left, so I think I'll get into the, uh, the 100 club on that. And that'll be very cool. Um, so I'll probably do that Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on how I feel. Um, I was planning on climbing indoors tomorrow, but I'm like so fucking sore. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> it's just, it's not going to be productive. It's not going to be fun. Like my back hurts like shit right now. My legs are still sore. I just feel like a tight ball of knots. You know, man, I need to like chill for at least a day or two, uh, do some like active recovery maybe, but, um, yeah, Wednesday, probably Wednesday, I'm thinking the H dumbbell lifts, and then maybe Friday, I'm gonna try to climb outdoors again, um, and then I'll have to eventually go back to climbing indoors, because I don't want to, like, lose my indoor, you know, capabilities, <laughs> uh, and if it's dry, dude, if it's dry and not too, not too hot, it was like in the 60s today, it's like a, this weather's pissing me off, man, it was, it was literally in the 20s and 30s, like a week ago, and now it's back in like the 50s, 60s, 70s, it's like a second fall, like what the hell are seasons in the southeast, you know what I mean, but uh, it's dry and not too hot. I'm thinking both of those little boulder projects I was showing at the start of this video are going to go easy. Um, they're, they're probably just like V3s, I'm thinking. Maybe maybe the one on the left side could be arguably V4. Because it's a little, like, there's like a pretty shitty crimp. And then you have to, like, hit up this other kind of shitty crimp that's sharp. And then you have to have like pretty much like a big move to a good crimp to finish. Maybe that's a V4. I don't know. What what are grades in climbing? Like it's it's all kind of bullshit. I mean, I think the hardest thing I've climbed um, was that freaking slab, a tiny slab. It was like a what was it 10, 11 foot slab or something that I climbed. That was supposedly a V3 according to like the old guidebook uh, to this place. But, I mean, the freaking three holds in the middle was like, <laughs> you know, two millimeters, five millimeters, four millimeters, give or take, and then like, slap a slopey top. That's a V3 according to some people, I don't know, whatever, I guess it is a slab, like it's pretty much a vertical, not like overhung or anything, so maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's the reason why it's called a V3 and not something more than that, but that shit was literally harder than the V5s I've done. So, what are grades, guys? What does it matter? The point is, it's challenging for me and fun, so I'm gonna climb it, you know what I mean? Fuck grades, you know? It's ridiculous. I mean, I've climbed the V7, V6 and V7 slabs indoors that were like, twice as easy as that V3. <laughs> it doesn't make any goddamn sense. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm probably rambling way too much. Y'all take care. Take it easy. And uh, just keep crushing it, man. Keep crushing it. 
Have a good one. Peace.